Jamaican born nurse fatally stabbed in New York. Police investigators in the United States are searching for a suspect who fatally stabbed a Jamaican-born nurse in Holtzville in Long Island, New York, on Thursday night. The deceased has been identified as 46-year-old Sandra McIntosh of Medford in Long Island, New York. She was a registered nurse at the Stony Brook University Hospital in Long Island and also a flight attendant. According to a news report from the USA's News 12, The Bronx, the police indicated that at about 8 p.m. on Thursday, a resident heard a woman screaming for help on Woodlawn Avenue in Holtzville. The resident went to investigate and found the woman, later identified as McIntosh, lying near a wooded area with stab wounds. The police were alerted and McIntosh was assisted to the Stony Brook University Hospital where she worked and later died. The police have so far identified that the suspect fled in McIntosh's white car that her family said is a white Lexus 350. McIntosh's brother, Robert McIntosh, told News 12 that he believed his sister was killed after getting picked up by someone she knew. In elaborating, he said, you just take her life and leave her on the street like a dead dog. I'm gonna miss my sister dearly. I cried till I can't cry no more. I lose words, I have no more words. I just need justice for my sister. In tears, McIntosh's son, Sean Magishi, told reporters that he wanted his mother's killer to turn himself over to the police. Up to the time of publication, the killer was still at large. Meanwhile, there has been other tributes to McIntosh as news of her tragic death circulated. A Facebook female user who claimed she grew up with McIntosh in Jamaica said she was saddened by the woman's passing. Stony Brook University Hospital also paid tribute to the nurse. The hospital's CEO, Carol Gomes, in a statement on Friday said, Sandra McIntosh was a dedicated nurse and beloved member of the Stony Brook Medicine family. We are truly saddened at this senseless tragedy and extend our deepest condolences to her family, friends and colleagues.